What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Moto WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to downgrade our WordPress core version, okay? So if your website is based on WordPress and you have a dashboard, in the previous video we did learn how to downgrade your WordPress plugin and your WordPress themes, okay? And why you should do that. But in most of the cases you want to downgrade things because the upgrade generates you some error, some conflict, some problem. For example, you do update the WordPress to 5.9.3 version, that is the actual one from April 5. And this generated for you some problem on, for example, WooCommerce plugin or some WooCommerce plugin add-on that still isn't compatible with your actual version of WordPress. And you may need to wait for the plugin developer to update the plugin to make it back to work. However, you cannot leave your site with a problem. Your site users have nothing to do about it. So you may need to downgrade your WordPress version, okay? So before we start learning how to downgrade the WordPress core version, I will do again, as I did in the previous video, a recommendation, please do a website backup. If you do not know how to do a backup, go to the YouTube, search for Visual Moto channel and search for backup and we, so we do have a video how to backup or go to visualmoto.com blog and search for backups because we have a lot of guides explaining how to do a backup. And in the final case, just write a comment into this video and I'm gonna be happy and help you, okay? so. While you are writing our comment, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because this really, really help us. Hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends because this is free and helps a lot, okay? So let's go to the WordPress. Here's my dashboard, okay? And once on the dashboard, I'm, uh, you're gonna be able to see into the, the very down right corner of your screen right here, your actual version of WordPress. And as you can see, there's no easy option, even into the update section, where you can downgrade WordPress, because WordPress does not want us to do this, okay? So normally to downgrade, you need to go to FTP, delete files, change files, it's uh, quite hard and complicated problem. And even if you delete a small wrong file, you can broke your site which is a really, really big problem. So luckily for us, the guys from from Ray Sater girl, these ones, these guys, made this awesome plugin that is the WP Downgrade specific core version, okay? So the plugin has been updated three weeks ago. There is a lot of people using because it's really, really useful. Okay, it's really, really important. Um here's the description of the plugin. It's really simple, okay? So we're gonna be installing this plugin and using it in order to downgrade our WordPress version, right? How to find WordPress versions? Go to wordpress.org, download releases. And here you're gonna be able to see the latest releases of WordPress. As you can review, the latest one is from April 5. And is the 5 is the version 5.9.3 but we have other versions that we can downgrade for example i would like to downgrade to the 5.9.2 and why i gonna do this because in my in my imaginary scenario in my in my fictitious scenario i did update to wordpress 5.9.3 and this generate a problem so I'm gonna be assuming that the OER version, that is the 5.9.2, will not have this problem. Please, always try to update to the highest possible version without a problem. Because if you go to 5.8, to 5.7, to 5.6, hackers may know some problems, some vulnerability that can explore and hack your site, okay? So it's really, really important that you find the proper channel, the proper way, okay? So let's go. First of all, we're gonna be installing the WP downgrade. And how to install the plugin? 
this is really simple. Go to our WordPress dashboard and navigate to plugins. Click on add new. Once on add new, into the top right corner on the search field, we're gonna type WP downgrade. Is this one, this plugin? Click on install now. The plugin is already installed, so I'm gonna click on activate button. As soon as I activate, I'm gonna be able, to, I'm gonna be redirected to the WordPress plugins list page, where we have, we can see all of all our plugins, and we can go right here to the settings. We can deactivate the plugin and go to the settings. We're gonna move to the settings. So our WordPress target version. exact version number from WordPress releases. If you go right here, you can click on. I would like to install the WordPress 5.9.2. So, let me just change. The language detected. This the language is one set on WordPress settings. We do have a video on our Visual Model YouTube channel explaining how to change our WordPress language after installation. Because while on installation, it's really easy. You can select on a panel, and I recommend that you review this. But go to save changes. In order to perform the upgrade downgrade, please go to update core. Go to update core. And now we're gonna see a button right here to reinstall version 5.9.2. Click on this button. But please make sure that you only do this process after a site backup, okay? So we can have a safe point in the case of any issue happens, you're gonna be protected. Right? So As you can review, we are incorrect in the current version of 5.9.2 and the WordPress is already downgraded. Review this part of the, the content. This site is automatically kept up to date with each new version of WordPress. This isn't good because we want to keep this downgraded. So by now we're gonna need to click into this button, okay? So we can deactivate the automatically updates just while the team or the plugin developer fixes the problem or WordPress itself fixes the problem because not all the WordPress updates and releases are perfect. That's what there is exactly why they keep updating things. So as soon as they fix, you can re-enable the auto updates and update our WordPress, okay? Even if you not see some error message while, as I did, because uh, as you can see previously, we did show it the critical error message, but there's no error at all. It's just because WordPress does not like to be downgraded, okay? No need to worry. And in the case that any real error appears for you, in your case, because case may change, you have your WordPress backup to 
keep the track of all the things. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. And before ending, let me just show this for you, okay? There is a message say, telling that it's all fine, the process happened properly. And you can find this pinion on the WordPress settings, WP downgrade, okay? So, it is. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter, because we are Visual Moto. Subscribe this channel to help us to be updated with our latest videos, because we bring guides every week about WordPress and many other site building parts. I'm gonna leave free links into the description below and into the first comment of this video. One is for you create your first website or your make your business online with Bluehost where you can gain one year of free domain if you go and the price is really really cheap. Another one is for another web hosting cloud based for more performance like e-commerce or apps who needs bigger performance for millions of people and the latest one is the creative market from the free assets where you can download icons, plugins, themes, Photoshop templates, images, photographs, all for free or six designs of the week every single week. So click on to these links so you can review and help the channel as well. Don't forget to check out the visualmoto.com. Okay, portfolio of amazing WordPress themes and you can download for free our borderless plugin on wordpress.org and our Enzo WordPress theme on wordpress.org as well, both for free. And I see you later. All the best!